On Panthers TV, in association with Jeremiah's Chimney Systems, joined by assistant coach Kevin Moore. Now, Kevin, before we go forward, just want to touch back, because we talked through with Jonathan about the atmosphere of that first Panthers game that we all told you about. How was that to experience that noise? It was awesome. Yeah, the, the fans were incredible. Uh, you, you could just feel the energy. And, I, you know, I think as coaches and as players, everybody fed off it. But just... You know, you know, you have a good crowd when you you can feel it, and not just hear it. And you know, it was a good crowd for that. It's an interesting point you make there. That that, that noise it, it can motivate the players, can't it? And and the coaches just feeling that that swell of support. I felt it on Sunday night. That the tide was turning, and what, what I mean by the tide was turning in the down times, the guys pulled through, but the crowd bought into it as well. Yeah, I mean, I, I think they're certainly as always a, with good teams. There's a connection between the crowd and the team, and and just. You know, sometimes the crowd helps the players, sometimes the players help the crowd, right? And, and everybody's kind of connected, so it, it was cool to see. What was your thoughts to the, you know, I think we, we talked kind of off tape, but about preseason friendlies, you know, it's, it's interesting to tell the public, like, that was a friendly. I guess in North America, you don't get that intensity, intensity for preseason. Never, never at all. So it was, you know, you sort of got the intensity leading up to it, you know, Fans that I talked to were just like, you gotta, you gotta beat the Steelers, you gotta beat the Steelers. But um, you know, I, I don't think till you live it, you realize how, <laughs> yeah, I guess how intense it is and how much more important a, a friendly game is over here than it is back home. But it, it was cool because it's nice to jump right into it. But you know, as coaches, we're we're always preaching process, so we had to balance that um, that a little bit. Uh, as netminding coach as well as assistant coach, how pleased were you with your goalless performances? Because Rock Stojanovic was great, and that was followed up that the next night there, of course, by Mike. Yeah, they were both fantastic. Um, you know, they've been great in practice, and so I, I didn't expect anything less. It was just nice to see. The habits we're trying to instill early here were, were, were coming out, and that, that led to some really big saves. And certainly we're preparing them to be big save goalies. And, you know, there's a lot of mental side of that with talking about winning time saves and talking about how to reset. But, like, all of that happens in, in the flow of a game. And I, I was just thrilled to, to see how both of them played. It seems an obvious question, but, but how important is it to have two goalies competing against each other, knowing that like not one of them is going to be a guaranteed starter? That, that's massive, isn't it? It is, it, and it helps with the consistency. And I think you know, the best goalies in the world are the most consistent. You know, they don't have huge highs and lows, and, and so to have somebody who is very talented you know, in Mike and Rock, where they are competing against each other, like it, it just continues to raise their basement and their ceiling and, and just add to that consistency. And both of them, I think, in the weekend made good one on one breakaway saves. In fact, I think Mike made one maybe at 3 3 perhaps on, on Sunday night. But again, th that shows that the confidence levels for them must be high. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and not only the confidence level, but when you have that process and practice and you're repping it out and you're repping it out you 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 can use your muscle memory to just just shut your brain off and play and sort of be in the flow of it and i, I think the best goalies do that where their brain is really settled they're not there's not that inner chatter and, and when you see goalies make calm breakaway saves like that you know that they're not in their own head and i, I think that's the most important part and just finally when we last spoke to you you'd only been in nottingham a handful of days how much have you been to find out have you been unlucky like carl neil and been pooped on or is your nottingham experience a bit better mine's been awesome i've explored nearly every corner of the city i could and you know went to the forest game went to knott's county game uh went to the metronome for a concert I, i'm doing everything i can you know in the little free time that we have to to just immerse myself in the city and, and talk to as many strangers as possible and uh, you know just feel the pulse of the city you know when when it's appropriate away from work so brilliant brilliant thanks a lot for joining us thanks